Later Havoc, with Polaris again, joined the second incarnation of X-Factor, a newly formed, government-funded, mutant agency. They overcame Ricochet and Mr. Sinister's attempts to discredit the team. They fought the Mutant Liberation Front and the Hell's Bells. They took down X-Force after an assassination attempt was made on the life of Charles Xavier. During a mission to Genosha, the connection between Havoc and Wolfsbane was discovered. The team battled the fanatical terrorist Haven who believed that, when the Mahapralaya came, the world would be destroyed and a new golden age would come about after it. Haven hoped to bring Mahapralaya about early. She took Wolfsbane through a pralaya, moving her in and out of pocket dimensions, and cured her of the genetic bond. When Haven tried to cure multiple men of the legacy virus, she failed, killing him. Havoc was deeply affected by the apparent death of his teammate and friend. Mourning Jamie's death, he decided to quit the team until Polaris tracked him down and convinced him to stay with the team. Later Havoc's powers raged out of control. Havoc was once again confined to the regulator costume he used to wear. He returned to X-Factor but was kidnapped by the bounty hunter called Random. Random brought him to the Dark Beast, the Beast's evil counterpart from another timeline. Havoc was brainwashed and put in charge of McCoy's lackeys, including Fatal, Post, and Random. McCoy came to serve Onslaught and offered his team services to the powerful entity. Havoc confronted his former X-Factor teammates and coldly hit Lorna with enough force to put her into cardiac arrest.